Hey, uh, family. Uh, everyone knows that uh, we've been busy, or I've been busy, uh, in preparation for the next uh, step here at our home here in Tennessee uh, by raising quail. And <clears throat> as of most recently, I just finished building the starter kit from Hatching Times. And uh, I have ordered 50 jumbo quail eggs. Uh, they probably won't be arriving here. Today's the 15th of February. Uh, probably won't be here until another week or two from now. So I just want to show you real quick this uh, improvised setup here in our pantry room, which I'll now call the quail room. <laughs> and uh, so here, let me just show you with what we've got going, okay? Okay, so this is the incubator. This is a Nutrite 360, and I don't have it plugged in, but you can see it's gonna have a humidifier and a temperature thing. Uh, these, this is where I can uh, fill it with water for the humidity to keep it about 35 to 40% uh, during the first 14 days. The eggs are in each one of those sections. So there's this is a special tray that I ordered just for quail. So because quail eggs, as you know, are very tiny. So each egg will go into one section. There's 45 sections. I ordered 50. So out of the 50 eggs, I'll, I'll have to give up five of them. But um, I'll be able to put all 45 plus eggs into this incubator and. Um, Within 17 to 18 days, they start hatching, supposedly. <laughs> so anyway, that's what's going on there. So that, again, is the Nutrite 360. So there's that. And then look at this. This is my brooder and uh, cage-out scenario here. So I don't have it plugged in, but... This is where the baby chicks, once they're they're hatched from there, they go to the brooder. The brooder can hold up to about 40 to 50 baby quail. And it's, I got a water system installed. Uh, there's a light bulb for light. That's actually a heater. This elongated thing here going to the end, that will provide heat. In the first week or so, uh, the baby chicks will use the, the watering containers there. But eventually, I'm going to show you here, they're going to hopefully be able to pick and uh, be able to take water right out of there. Pretty cool. So that's this is called a brooder. And I have this, this thing here so the baby chicks can't get out. But after about they're one or two weeks old, I can change the position, put food down this tray here. Their heads will come out there and they'll be able to feed there. Okay, after about four weeks in this section, I'm going to take the baby chicks out of the brooder and lift them up and put them at the top cage out situation here. So this is where this can hold about five to six uh, quail in each section. There's three sections. And each section has a watering thing, just like you saw below, automatic. This is a gallon, or f I don't know if it's two or three gallons, whatever it is. I haven't connected it yet, but uh, there's, there's the hose thing. And that's the temperature gauge for the, the heater for the brooder. It's in Celsius, so probably somewhere around 35 to 40 degrees Celsius is where I'm going to keep the brooder for the baby chicks when they hatch. And uh, within four weeks, they all go up here in their individual cages. The game plan is one rooster to five hens, so the eggs can get fertilized and we can repeat the process again. The eggs will roll out onto this tray here. See these trays? So all the quail eggs will come out here. I'm excited and this is just uh, the next stepping phase of what we're doing here uh, with what you all know I call our fruits and berries small Tennessee and homestead. 
So there you have it.